The Highlander sits between the Highlander and Sequoia in terms of size using the occasion of Media Day at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Toyota unveiled the latest model to join its lineup. As the Grand Highlander name suggests, it's a larger sibling to the Highlander we know. But is that where the differences end? First, why a Grand Highlander? A look at U.S. sales point to the answer. The Highlander is consistently among the top-selling SUVs, combine its results from the last two years, and it ranks just behind the Toyota RAV4 among all SUVs. Meanwhile, the model above the Highlander in Toyota's lineup, the Sequoia, has been a slow seller. There was room for an SUV in between, and Toyota decided to use the Highlander name to provide a middle ground. Dimensions The Grand Highlander is 6.5 inches longer than the Highlander and about 7.0 inches shorter than the Sequoia. It is also 2.0 inches taller and 2.3 inches wider than the Highlander. Its wheelbase is about 4 inches longer. Where this benefits the vehicle is inside, including the cargo area and the third row. The third row gains 5.5 inches of legroom, 33.5 versus 28.0 inches. Head and shoulder room is also increased by about 2.0 inches. The third row won't just be for kids. USB-C ports and cup holders have even been added there. Total cargo volume behind the first row of seats is 2,775 liters, almost 400 more than the Highlander and its 2,387 liters. The Grand Highlander uses the same platform, TNGAK, as the Highlander. Toyota made it longer, but also stiffened it with the powertrain. Under the hood, there's one important difference, the addition of an extra hybrid powertrain, the Hybrid Max, which also serves the crown. Here it gets some tweaks for a 5,000-pound towing capacity. This version delivers 362 horsepower and 400 pounds to foot of torque. The Grand Highlander also gets the two engines offered with the regular Highlander, a 2.4-liters turbocharged four-cylinder, 265 horsepower, and a 2.5-liters four-cylinder that combines with two electric motors to offer 243 horsepower and a hybrid solution. All-wheel drive is the only wheel drive configuration in Canada. Aesthetically, we'll let you make up your mind, but essentially, the signature is the same as the Highlander. There's a bigger nose, higher hood and more dominant grille. The interior. The model offers a bit more luxury in its top-of-the-line platinum trim, but all three trim levels, XLE and Limited being the others, come with a comprehensive set of features. Every Grand Highlander comes standard with a host of driver assistance technologies that include adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, lane keeping assist and even blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. The Platinum trim alone enjoys a 360 degree camera system. It's all part of the company's TSS 3.0 suite. Pricing and market launch date will be announced at a later date. Of course, we will have the opportunity to come back to the equipment of each version. We can also mention that the XLE and Limited variants can be had in 8-seat configuration, but that the Platinum variant is equipped for 7 with captain's chairs in the second row. Of course, our driving impressions will follow when we see this model launched.